jam. See over that hair? Right in front of right log jam. Where are you looking? Look at look, 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 look there. See all those logs? Yeah. That's where you fish. Fish right in front of that. So fish the edge of those trees. What is going on guys? Welcome to a River's Edge. I am here with the Matfei again. <laughs> and his brother Adam, which is on the kayak right now, he's going fishing already. Uh -huh. uh, but look at this guys, we got our kayaks today. We're gonna be fishing this part of the reservoir uh, that has crappie, it has perch, has catfish, has has carp. What else? Yeah. What else do you think? I mean, potential here is I mean bass too, like we're here to catch fish to eat. Yes, okay. mostly panfish. Our goal is panfish today. Panfish, bluegill, crappie, perch, keeper bass. I won't. I won't segregate. I won't discriminate. We'll keep them all. But anything, any anything we catch, we're ca catching, bleeding, eating. Put yes. Yes, sir. So I got my catch and cook stuff out here. We have a, a very nice like table. Actually, we have a better table up there that we're gonna do a catch and cook. Um, so the goal is to catch some crappie. If we can get crappie, we can cook them. It's gonna be a very nice day. Um, unfortunately, the only downside of today is that it's pretty windy, as you can probably hear on the camera. So uh, I do apologize in advance if the video is gonna be kind of uh, kind of windy. So um, yeah, let's get on the water, see what we can do. And then I'll I'll stay by and help you from the water. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Don't get too close. We're gonna spook all the problems off. Uh oh, oh my paddle. <laughs> <laughs> my paddle. Luckily, it floats. It floats. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm getting in. Wait, what about my guy? Oh, it's okay, I got it. Can you? Yeah, I'm having a hard time. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off from here. Okay, no, it's I gonna be coming go. from here. It's fine. Go go and fish, dude. For safety measures, let me get all the stuff out of here. So in case my kayak flips over. We are officially in, if you guys see this camera right here. I've lost a camera in this reservoir before, so that's why I have this flotation device attached to my camera. I do not want to lose another GoPro in this reservoir. So, it wasn't even retrievable. I lost it around like 40 foot depth. So, even if I wanted to go down to there, go, go down to get it, I can't, I can't go down to 40 foot. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, that's the only downside out here. First cast yield nothing. Oh no! <laughs> I cast it right onto the sticks. Oh man. I messed up, dude. Yeah. Did you cast into the bush? Yeah, I did. Overcast? Yep. Oh my gosh! Dude, that thing flew like a bullet past my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is harder than we thought. Let's just put ourselves over there slow. All right. Park our butt on that and fish. 
forced it away from the bush. All right, I'll come join you. Are you just trying to back in it and sit in your kayak? Kinda, yeah. Trying okay. to park it at least a little bit, maybe sideways. Yeah, and it's just gonna keep us anchored. It's blowing this baby. We'll just start real quick for Alright guys, so I'm going to be using this right here and then I'm going to throw on this color, it's like a lime green with a white jig head. Okay, I think that was a good cast. My back is My back. Can't figure out those chairs, huh? Oh crap. No Felt like a bass bite though. It was like a trrr. Fish. There you go. Instant. Instant. Where'd you cast? Straight out in front of your face. Crappie. Let's go, baby. Hold on, do you see where I got bit? Not big, but hey. It's a crappie. We can eat that. Oh yeah, for sure. Do you have an extra bobber, by the way? I do have an extra bobber. Yeah. I might need to switch Hold over. On. Looks like bobber fishing is the way right now, kind of. Fishing is kind of fun though. <laughs> it is. <laughs> nice. Got him. Fish? Yep. As soon as it, the bobber stood up. Yeah. Crappie? Yeah. No way. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Sick. Yeah, that's a crappie. Yeah. All right. Oh, got him there again. Yeah. Yeah, you should be good right there. Just work it towards you. Yeah, that's where J Adam got bit. Oh shoot! I don't know if that was a bite or not. Oh. Got one. Okay, got one. Oh, yep. Ooh, yep. That's a nice one. Let's go, baby. Good job, boys. Good job. Good We're job. getting them, dude. Let's Freedom go. There we go guys, there's a crappie right there. Look at that. Not he's giant, not he's not giant, but we're he's he's still meat, an boys. eater, man. Okay, we're here for meat. What's up? Can you grab the back of my back string? If I pull me pull me towards yourself. If I don't pull my string. I got him. I got him. Hold on, I got a fish. Let's go, baby. Fish number two. Can you, can you get back more? Back, back, back. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Use your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just pulled me out. Damn it. <laughs> you know what? I might just park and go fish up there. From the bank? Yeah. Then you can share stringers with Adam. It's, it's going to be a lot easier doing that. Yeah. Adam, can you, can you pull me up a little? Yeah. I got you. Nice. Here, grab my rods. It's okay, just grab my rods, I can get out. There. There, perfect. Thanks, dude. I'll hold this in case so it doesn't slide in. Yeah, don't, don't let it slide. All right, cool. Nice. All right. Oh, there you go. Nice coffee, nice coffee. Let's go, baby. That's a good one. Let's go. That's a good one. Definitely bleed your fish. Rip its gills. Rip its gills. Rip its gills. Put it in a bucket of water or a stringer in the water. And your meat will be, uh, it will be so white, almost transparent. And that's when it gets flaky. If you have any bloodline, it's not, it's going to start fishing. It's going to start tasting fishy. Like the fishiness comes from that dark red bloodline that you get on your meat. If you don't bleed your fish. All right, guys, I'm going to go dig my crappie down there to Adam. You were using white to make any more colors? And I'd be like, yeah. Or the jig All right. Oh jeez, okay, all right. All right. Uh, all right, we're up, nice. Little path out here. Can you rip the gills out too? Yeah. They're not big, but. This is the spot, just cast out, like that. How much we got on there already, five? Six. Six, six crappie was there. Man, dude, Adams is like, first. he's smoking them, bro. The moment he like casts it in there. Yeah, we'll bro. We'd be, we'd be two fish 
in, that's it. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm using a green and orange jig head and then a green and orange jig. You're, dude, he's not even fishing that deep. We're like deeper than he is. So I'm fishing like deeper than I should be, I feel like. Back here. No, let me try it back here. Well, I cast it once or twice, but I cast it way too close. So. Oh, got him. That's a nice one. That's actually a really nice one. Yeah. I feel like we have enough for like all, all of us to have a sandwich. Yeah, but I need some for free. So. Oh, oh, you're taking fish home oh, too? I need, to, I need to stock up my fridge, bro. Just <laughs> <laughs> stock up my fridge. Look at this fish. My, fish. my wife and I love ta fish tacos too much. It's nice. Abandon this right now. <laughs> Matthew, look how much there is. Matthew, Matthew. Fish. Look. Oh, let's go. So much. The street is almost fill full. fill up the street, buddy. Let's fill them up. Look at that, guys. It's not big, again, but very nice crappie. It's not like it's not like a big sudden take. It just slowly sinks it. Yeah. That's a nice one, dude. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. You wanna you wanna put them on there? Since you already have the thing. How much is it? It's nine. We have nine fish. Oh, I got a bat. I got a bat. I'm about to get it. Oh, got a Oh, this is a bigger. Oh no, this is. Is that a keeper one? Yeah, it's a keeper. Look at this boy. It's in my hand. Ooh. There's a fish. Nice fish. You'll eat. <sighs> That's a good fish. What'd you say, Eric? Should have brought a uh, bucket, so he just... Yeah, a bucket instead. I was thinking about that. I have one, too. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Look at that. That is a lot. Maybe I should go on load. Go yeah, he brought the bucket here so we don't have to use a stringer. So each time I catch a fish, I just throw it in here. That's a good keeper. So we got three fish in there right now, three crappie. And we'll just hopefully load up more and more. Hey guys, if we think if you guys think that we're taking a lot of crappie out of this reservoir, you guys are mistaken. Because this plate this reservoir has tons and tons of crappie. Every time we come here, we catch a lot of crappie and they, they just never seem to slow down. So, exactly. So us harvesting this, this amount of fish is like barely even touching the population. We're eating it all. Yes, it's not going to waste at all. Look at these crappies guys, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. They're gonna get eaten though, so just don't tell them. Well, I'm gonna try under this tree right here. Boom, right there. Perfect. Oh, there we go. It was back there, yeah. It feels nice too. Yeah, I'll take it. Take that any day right there. Right away, let's go. Eric found him again. They all seem pretty decent size out there too. Oh wow, that's a good one. 
Loading up this bucket. Oh yeah. Guys, if we're catching crappie like this one after another, that just means there's a lot of them out here. Just look right out there, right in front of that tree. Right in front of that tree, there's some crappies chilling. Here we go, here we go. Something's on it. Yep, there we go. Told ya. He's a little too small. A little too small to keep here, guys. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> It's nice, they're nice, dude. Look, this is a nice crappie. Keep it. All of these crappie are pretty nice. I like that. Just I'm not, it's my second cast in there and I haven't got bit yet. Yeah. They're like, oh no, John Robin. Finester is gone. Half my, half, half, generation. Half, half my friends are gone. What's going on? There's something suspicious going on out here. I got a good load of crappie here in this bucket already. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So the crappie bite has officially died. We've been fishing maybe for like 10, 15 minutes with no. No luck anymore so i think crappies are uh, done for the day there's a little little uh, haul in this bucket of course we have a, a lot more in the cooler but some pretty nice crappie right there definitely gonna have some uh, fillets off of these guys we're gonna go back right now get everything get everything uh, packed back to the truck and then we're gonna go to a spot where we're gonna fish for carp and while we're fishing uh we're gonna cook up some of these crappies here make a sandwich it's gonna be delicious so you guys stay tuned It's time to do a catch and cook. Got everything in this cooler. All we gotta do is just fillet some crappie. All right guys, you got the buns, got the lettuce, you got the fish fry, cucumbers, or sorry, pickles. Pickles, which is very important. Mayo, and then Thousand Ranch or sorry, Thousand Island sauce. So crappie, super, super simple to fillet. Start off by cutting right here next to its head. Just make an incision like that, should be good. And then you follow the bone, starting from here, follow the bone down. Just slowly work that down like that. And then pick that meat up and work that bone. Get in there at the at the tail, cut that off right there. Then I like to get as much meat as I can off of these fillets, so something like that. And then all you gotta do now is cut this and cut around that meat. Boom! That's one fillet right there. You got the skin here, skin is super easy to take off. You just Hold it down and then just slowly fillet that meat off that skin like that. It's a lot easier when you have a fork to hold down the 
pull down that skin. Boom, there you go. Now that is a boneless crappie fillet right there. Other side is super simple. Same thing, go through here. Do the exact same thing you did on the other side. Just work that, work that bone. Pretty much same exact thing you did on that other fillet. And boom, that is a filleted crappie. There's probably a little bit of meat still on this guy, but there's not much you can really do about it. that right there just about the size you're gonna get and yeah super simple and you just do that with the rest of the fish just set up the carp rods and Matthews over here says you had a bite a little nibble and we're using just corn ooh, 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 ooh. that was a strong bite strong bite slowly ooh, 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 ooh. Almost seems, that, seems like a that could be a carp mm -mm. Maybe. Team Blue Girl, like, mm. Oh, that was a strong bite. Bullheads? They like corn. They always start biting. Alright, folks, before I start cooking the fish, I'm gonna toast up these buns. Little tiny little jig head with the worm and caught this trout amongst <laughs> around around the around the carp rods. So uh, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm cooking right now, and Matthew and his brother Adam are out there fishing, trying to catch carp, and looks like they caught some uh, trout instead. Now, what we're gonna be using is this Louisiana fish fry. Stuff here works very good for crappie. Spread it out. I'm gonna add some oil. Should be a little, yeah, that should be good enough right there. It's already starting to simmer a little, so. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this aside so that way the oil doesn't burn. And now, we take the crappie fillets and all you do is just, just like that, super simple. Right into that seasoning. And just cover it as much as you can. Now you don't want to overheat that oil because then you'll get burnt fish. This is perfect right here. It's cooking up real nice. While that's cooking, I'm just going to throw in a little more. Just put all of this. You see that? It's already starting to flake. That's what you want. Put that over. Put this over. Beautiful. Yeah, oh yeah, this one is ready. Oh jeez. 
falling apart. So yeah guys, you just play it with the eye, I can't really tell you exactly how long to cook the meat, it depends on the heat, depends on the fish, you just gotta go, go with it with your eye. Nice bass. That's a giant, dude. That's a big bass. Bro. Boys, got one. There's, there's everything here. Big bass. They're nice bass. I'd say about a pound and a half fish. Probably a keeper, but I'm not keeping them. I'm just going to let them go. We got plenty of crappie to eat. He's so sick. I was so confused. I thought it was a weird, like a weird catfish. I was like, what did I just get? There you have it, folks. That is fried crappie going on a sandwich. All right, got this, got the buns, we got this. We got to need to cut some, uh, some pickles, lettuce, plates. Three plates for three people. That's Thousand Island sauce. Just don't have, don't need to put all that much. Probably like that much right there. Just get a nice even spread. All you gotta do is put some crappie now. Boom. And then, boom, like that. And now, some pickles. One, about well, three pickles maybe. Two. I'd say these are more like sliders than a sandwich. I feel like how small they are, but that is going to be delicious. I'm making two per person, so should be good. Uh, fell off the cliff. There we go guys. Three plates of uh, six crappie sandwiches. There you go, sir. Thank you. You wanna grab Matthew's too? Yep. Here. Matthew, open your mouth. Let me grab some Dr. Pepper. For this, so I got opportunity to catch lots of fish, enjoy a little bit of nature with you. So now we get to look out, eat some food. We got bless God, bless the Lord God, keep us safe. Look out, bless for the drive back. It's really good for us. Amen.
good. So mm -hmm. good. That's about it. So good. I was like popping my food. I mean, like fish food. You like fish food? No. Mm. And I love these sandwiches, dude. Yeah, if we would have put the corn on the hook itself instead of doing the hair rig, we would have caught so many shots. Oh my heart, god! Heart, heart, heart. Heart. We lost it. Oh my god! Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on. Carp? Oh, it's trout. Oh, trout. Oh, I saw it. Dude, that's a nice trout, too. Yeah, it is. Flipped over. <laughs> so that's, that's what a, carp usually yo, do. Yo, your sandwich, bro. Is it? Oh. Oh. The pickles are. Keep the trout, man. You just like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely got a video of that. That's literally how the carp bites went. That's literally how they went. That's funny. All right, folks. Well, it's getting dark. I think it's time to end, end the video. How's your tan sandwich taste? Really good. Crunchy? Yeah, I'm just going to <laughs> Rod almost flew in the water and he dropped the sandwich while he ran to get grab it. Wow. We can't waste food like that, okay? No. So, yeah, I think this is the end to this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know, do what you do. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Yep. <laughs>